I really want to be able to set an example that science is curiosity driven and it's a creative process. My research here at Syracuse University studies how cells during tissue development divide. So we're trying to really understand how those cells organize in space. We do that by observing zebrafish embryos. It's exciting because it's an animal and you can watch it go from a single cell to a little swimming being. We want to provide information for not only understanding disease progression and giving potential molecular therapeutics, but also just a basic understanding of the laws of nature. When we see something new in them, I feel like we're seeing something new about us. My love of art started when I was younger. I've always had in the back of my mind somehow being able to do scientific art, that creative research that goes into producing a tangible art piece is very similar to the creative process that goes into producing a really great research project. And so we started the BioArt Mixer. I think this is one of the truest interdisciplinary based research programs. We've incorporated the humanities with the sciences. We're creating something unique for Syracuse. That ability to be creative and curious at the same time is probably one of the things that I enjoy most about science and what keeps me going. And so if I can help students catch that bug of wanting to see something new and be creative in what they're doing, I think then I've succeeded.